Today I want to talk about how to enter uh, stamp cancel information using Stamp Manage. Uh, by the way, we um, if you have Stamp Manage Deluxe 2019, uh, we've just issued an update. As always, you check for the update using the help uh, check for updates um, command here. And the reason I say that is because um, we have added a new report related to cancels. And that is the reports. Go under more reports. And you'll see stamps owned by count cancel, so it's grouped by cancel. And let me just show it to you really quick. So as the name implies, it's just going to uh, take the stamps, all the stamps, and this is a very large collection, and it's going to group them by cancel. So there we go. And as always, in the first page, you have the table of contents. In this in this collection, we've only got two different types of cancels: average and fancy. If I want to go to fancy, I just click there, and it shows the totals by group. Um, uh, anyways, okay. So for new uh, for new users to set the cancel information for a particular stamp, you just uh, enter the information under the cancel uh, drop down. Now, if the uh, if the cancel is not in the list, as as with all these uh, uh, windows here, you just enter it manually. But in this case, I'll just say it's a fancy cancel. Click OK, and it enters that information for me. Somebody asked, "How can I create a port?" And in this report, I I only want to show the stamps where the cancel is uh, one particular type. In this case, I believe it was fancy cancel. And so let me show you how to do that. First of all, this is an advanced topic. If, you're, if you don't want to mess with the reports and change reports, that's OK. Uh, but if you do, you're going to select Reports, Edit Report. And what I can do is I can just take an existing report, Stamps by Cancel. Now to, now to change uh, the stamps that are shown in a report, uh, on, a, on a global level, what you do is you click Project and then Filter. And in this case, the stamp, the filter is Stamp Cancel is not empty, so it's only going to show the uh, the stamps in the report where there is a valid cancel value. Now, to change that to a particular cancel, what I can do is make it Stamp Cancel equals. Stamp cancel equals fancy cancel. Click OK. Now, in most cases, I want to save this under a different name, so I'll just say save as. Let's make it called stamps. Fancy cancel. Click save. Now, I can. What I can do is in a report. So I'm going to select output report using all data. And I'm going to select my new report, Stamps Fancy Cancel. Click OK. Now it's done. And what you can see is it's only it's only uh, showing the stamps with the Fancy Cancel uh, as I specified. OK. Hope that was helpful. Have a nice night. Take care.